Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to test the moisture level in your brake fluid. As always, if you're not a subscriber, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Testing the moisture level in the brake fluid will help determine the brake fluid's condition and if a fluid replacement is required. Naturally, brake fluid will absorb moisture which is present in the air. The system is intended to be sealed using rubber gaskets and specific fittings. However, sometimes these connections can leak, perhaps a reservoir cap wasn't tight or is leaking, etc. Even having the cap off the reservoir for an extended period of time will even cause excessive moisture to be absorbed into the fluid. The reason for a clear reservoir is to actually inspect the fluid level without having to remove the cap. Excessive moisture in the system will cause the boiling point to decrease in the fluid. If the boiling point is decreased, under harder or extreme braking conditions, the fluid will vaporize and jeopardize your braking ability. This is pedal fade and means that you'll lose braking performance. Beyond losing braking performance, it can also promote corrosion, especially when the fluid gets older and loses its rust inhibiting qualities. Dot 4 will absorb moisture at a slower rate than compared to dot 3, but will have a higher drop in performance when moisture is present. Simply locate your brake fluid reservoir. This is normally located on the firewall. They may be in plain sight or under a cover. Wipe off the surrounding area so we don't introduce any contaminants into the brake fluid. For testing, I am using an electronic brake fluid tester. The test can be done in under 5 minutes. It's very accurate and determines the boiling point by measuring the amount of moisture within the fluid. For this, I am using one from Mobile Distributor Supply made by OEM Tools. Link to this product will be included in the description below. It's very affordable, easy to use, compact, and can be used multiple times on a wide variety of brake fluid types. As you can see on the side of the tester, we have various modes that can be selected for which type of brake fluid we will be using. Different types of brake fluid will absorb moisture differently and also have different ranges of boiling points. Remove the protective cap which will expose the two probes that is dipped into the fluid. There is also a little LED light to help illuminate a dark area. Power up the tester and the light will automatically turn on. Now we can select which type of fluid the vehicle has. The type of fluid your vehicle uses will be outlined in your owner's manual or on the reservoir cap. Press the selection button to cycle through the types of brake fluid from the list. For this truck it's dot three. Dip the probes in the brake fluid and watch the reading. If you remember, I released a tutorial on replacing brake lines on this particular truck, so the fluid is quite new. And we have 0% moisture content. When removing the probe, it's extremely important to wipe off the probes to prevent cross-contamination and ensure the tester will always have an accurate reading. Also be extremely careful with the brake fluid as it can damage your vehicle's paint, so don't let it drip anywhere. On this particular tester, it'll have an outlined percentage rating of what moisture content is acceptable for your vehicle. For another vehicle, this one hasn't been driven for over a year. The reservoir cap was actually broke due to its age, so it wasn't sealing properly. As you can see, it's in a tighter area and obviously it fails immediately. So the vehicle is unsafe to drive until the fluid is replaced. As mentioned earlier, wipe the tester clean, even use a little brake cleaner on a cloth to remove the residue. Maintenance intervals for brake fluid replacement will vary between manufacturers, but as a generalized guideline, it should be done at 40,000 miles or 65,000 kilometers, or every three years, or under any major brake system repairs. Use brake fluid, which is only listed for your vehicle. While some types may be interchangeable, it's best not to mix them to be safe. For new videos every week, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.